Hey everybody, Jesse Roberts, uh, Compass Cyber Guard, talking about how to block people outside of your organization from messaging you on Teams. Uh, this is crucial because there's been a lot of attackers or you know bad actors that are trying to basically infiltrate your organization uh, using social engineering via Teams by contacting users in your organization and basically sending out phishing through the Teams platform. So uh, my recommendation to you is uh, to go ahead and prevent that from happening. Uh, so the way to get there um, to block this is first you want to go into the Teams Admin Center, uh, which can be reached from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You have to have um, a user, you have to be signed on as a user that has the appropriate permissions. In my case, I'm using a global administrator role. I'm getting into the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. I am then going to Users, External Access, and I'm going to read up on this here. Um, but uh, when external domains are allowed, users in your organization chat and add users to meetings and use audio video conferencing with users in external organizations. By default, your organization communicate with all external domains. <clears throat> um, what we want to do is make sure that uh, we have it set to allow only sp specific exter external domains for chatting purposes. Now, this shouldn't affect meetings in general. You should be able to still send out a Teams meeting and communicate with that person through that Teams meeting that you've established sending to uh, <clears throat> the person. What might not work is other people forwarding that meeting, uh, so just be aware of that. Um, the other thing is here, um, if you are on allow all external domains, that's where the issue kind of comes into place. For us, we went ahead and we only allowed specific external domains, and we have a list of domains here that are going to be um, basically blurred out in the video because I don't want everybody to know the domains we're allowing. And if you wanted to add a domain, it's very simple. You just add domain, and for example, I'm going to just put in fake domain come and it'll take a little bit a while for the tenant to update and for communications to happen but boom we're done now only these domains I have specified in my list will be allowed to message me on teams and uh, <clears throat> and that should pre uh, prevent users from getting fished by bad actors <clears throat>